This is code.org, and that's what we have here. Extra code, height and width. Yes, you definitely need to be doing this. So we can change up images by using the height and width property. They go into some detail here. Read the HTML and see. Okay. Add height and width attributes to make other images smaller. Awesome. So Corgi, look at this image. And we saw a lot of this in what we were just doing. These ugh, huge images. So why is this one nice and small? Well, if I look over here, wow, you see what they did? And this is called inline. Images have properties. You can also do this with CSS, which I'll teach my students. But look right here, height and width. So let's go ahead and try that here. I'm going to go to the end of the line 13, but before the greater than sign and do enter height. It could all be on the same line, by the way. It bothers me, but it can be. Uh, let's do what they did, 220. And then I'm going to go after the parent, uh, double quote, enter width equals, um, I guess, 300 will do. And look, boom. And I can pick even different sizes. So maybe down here on line 17 now for me, before the greater than sign, enter. Uh, by the way, I could even do width first. And maybe I'll do width 400. After the quote, enter height 250. Maybe that smushes it. I don't even know. <laughs> All right, and by the way, this works on the same line. Just do a space. But uh, pretty cool. All right, challenge: make an illustrative story. Create a story of your choice. Put a new image tag skills to the test. Create an illustrative story as an extra challenge. Include code from your past lessons, such as special characters. Wow. So real quick, I'll demo H1 my story and still. Okay, slash h1 make sure you're closing your tags make sure all of this goes in between the body and body tags now you're going to need to add your images i've already saved some during this lesson i'm going to hit add image and see what i got on my computer upload uh, i got a dog in a lap boom i mean a cake in a lap oh it only did me the one my cake there we are boom now it should come up pop up over here if you need to rename them right rename dog cool all right and i'll rename this one cake and I don't know what they mean by story, but I might say uh, paragraph tag here. Fred the dog has a big sweet tooth. Slash P. And then an image tag. And I'm going fast because I'm just kind of showing you an example. IMG SRC equals. And then I'll say an image of my dog. We just learned height and width. Um, I'll do an alt. Alt equals dog. And then maybe I'll do a width equals 300. I could do PX. The height will change with it. Cool. Now, what if I want to use the cake too? I'm going to copy, highlight all that. I'm being cheap here. Copy. Enter, enter, leave a blank line for fun. Fred has a sweet tooth. Oh, maybe big sweet tooth, but a period here. He likes cake the best explanation point and now i need to change this to cake which is my other image to cake boom you get the idea i could use fancier tags i can go nuts with this but a story boom all right challenge make a how-to guide ah ha ha all right use your image skills share with others create an illustrated how-to guide similar to what i just did guys so i'm gonna uh, let me finish on this all right go back to here Similar to what I just did here, I'm going to copy this code, H1, all of this, copy, finish, because I just am trying to get you an idea on this. Yours needs to actually be a how-to, but in between the body and body tags, let me right-click and do paste. All right, now this is showing up because I haven't uploaded these photos. Let me add images again. This how-to guide won't make sense, but it will work for this example. There we go, my images. Pop up over here, rename one, dog. click on that, rename, cake, okay, index, and now maybe I say, how to make a cake, why is there a dog, I have no idea, and maybe instead of doing paragraph tags, if you want to get fancy, you use a ordered list, so an ol tag, and now I'm going to hit enter, enter, and do slash ol, Right now, remember each item on a list has to have an li tag. So I'm going to do li then slash li. That's a list item, 
And what I'll do is for my stuff I want to put on here, like Fred has a big sweet tooth. Again, this should be a step. So uh, first, get the dog. I, I don't know, guys. It's late. Uh, let me delete this paragraph. Let me grab this image. X. Boom. I know I'm going fast, but you're getting the idea here. And then I'm going to do another li tag. So I did leave the image outside of the li tag. li tag. Second. Get the cake. This is great. This is stellar how to. <laughs> X. Boom. You get the idea. You can do an H1. Maybe you even want to do a, you know, H3 at the end. H4, apparently. Bye, Mr. Geyser. H4. You want a bunch more images. You want a bunch more steps. Throw in a CSS document. You get the ID. Cool. Make sure there's a great and we're done. Onward.